Hello, my name is Anthony Guzman, and I'm going to do the batting cage slash turf area here at the bottom of Lady T Fieldhouse. Um, for me, this was an easy choice to talk about because I am currently on the baseball team, and I spend a lot of my time here in the turf area. So from my presentation, I'm going to talk about a little bit of the slides that I decided to put on there and put together. So. First of all, the most important thing is the turf, which is all the area below my feet. And there were a lot of key important things that I thought needed to be fixed with this area because there are these lumps that are used for the golfers, which is important for them to use. So here's what that would look like. Um, a lot of these lumps are placed in the wrong spot for other athletes to use the area and could cause them to roll their ankle and other stuff. Also, a lot of this turf is very dirty and does need to be cleaned. So with that said, I, that would be the first thing I'd want to change here in the turf area. Next would be this netting behind me. Um, I don't think it needs to be as abundant as you see right there because only a small portion of it is used there therefore we should fix it and make it smaller and more accessible in the area so the next important part about this area is the batting cages which is right behind me and a lot of these nets are old and have holes in them and this is very unsafe for people to use because if a ball flies through them and hits a person in the head or body, it could cause serious damage and hurt to them. Also, with these nets, we can make more room out of them if we were to cut this cage in half and put use it as two cages rather than one. Also, we have this great amount of space behind me, which we can also use for more batting cages, therefore more athletes can use the area at a certain time and then the next thing I want to talk about is actually inside the batting cage and um, an important part for baseball slash softball players is to use these L screens right here and the farther look from it would look like this in the shape of an L and the biggest thing I noticed about these screens is that they're tearing apart as you can see there's loose parts and there's actually some holes in it it's hard to see on camera but there are some holes in it and it's not safe for those that are tossing behind it to be behind it and toss because if they get hit like i said before it can cause serious damage to those people and we wouldn't want that for that for those people and back going back outside the cage we have a problem with our storage because we currently do not have enough storage for our facility or our, for our sports such as golf, baseball, and softball. So behind here is some golf balls I can actually grab. And before they used to be a full bucket of it, now there's only half a bucket. Therefore it shows that people are stealing the golf balls and this is a major problem for the golf team because when they go down here and practice they need those balls in order to hit and if they don't have these balls they can't practice also i do believe that softball should have some baseballs down here and should be supplied by the school because they also are entitled to this area like any other athlete because we are supposed to come down here and hit and get extra work in or also when it rains and it's causes us to come inside next would be the discus throw slash shot put throws which is right behind me and they currently have little to no room for them to use their area because their area is already small as it is so the fixes that i would like to make for this area is actually expand it and allow for these athletes to have more room to use that way they get better better training to say the least because we want all our athletes to, su to succeed and the best way to be for them to succeed would be to get better training in and 
have the better chance to succeed at their sport. Also, another thing that is a problem is our current storage. Our current storage has no, no lock on it, and that is very easy for people to come in here and steal all the things that are in here. And as you can see, there's not as much storage room as we would like because it is really packed and I know as a baseball player we have a lot of our stuff down here and it's important for us to make sure we continue to keep it safe and that way we can continue to come down here and use this facility. Um, some other things that I saw from being down here so much that is very important for us to fix is actually the lighting. I'm currently in between the cages but the lighting is hard to tell from the camera but it is something that does need to be changed because if we want to come down here as a baseball slash softball player, it's important for us to realize that we can't hit the ball if we can't see it well. So lighting is another important thing that we need to address because, like I said, it's hard for us to succeed if we can't see the ball. The next thing would be the baseball mounds, which is right here. These current mounds are very old and they're actually starting to rip apart as you can see right here. Um, we would need to upgrade these and get new mounds because if we want our pitchers to be safe and make sure the area below them doesn't collapse, we are gonna have to make some changes to these mounds and also or also get new mounds for us to use. Another thing that is also by, back by the golf balls, which I'm walking that way, that does need to be fixed or get new equipment of is our baseball slash softball tees. These are currently all broken and they are no good to us to use if they are broken because if they're broken, we can't raise the pitch up to a certain spot to where we want it or can't even hit off of it because we can't hit our metal bats against those metal surfaces as well. We only have one of these tees down here and I'm currently actually using it in that cage because I'm actually here to get more work in. Like I said, it's a very key important part to baseball, softball, golf, shot put, and all these other sports that come down here. Um, and best part about this area is if we were to fix it, then we would see a lot of our athletes improve because this is something that we do find a lot of our athletes to use. Um, oh, I forgot what I was about to say. Yeah, it also, it helps with recruiting. Recruiting is a big thing in college sports because the more stuff you have around you, you can see that the more students want to attend and play their sports for that school. And the more, the better your sports get, actually the more people that attend. So with that said, I would like to make some of these changes, but I do understand that not all of these changes can be made because of money, time, and all workers and all these other things that key are key factors to these fixes. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day.